What's up, boys? Data72 here with episode 9 of Fixing the Franchise here with the Anaheim Ducks moving into the year number 3 playoffs here in 2022 up against the San Jose Sharks. Before we get into this episode, a couple comments to go over. First one coming from my buddy Chris Chong telling me, trade one of your medium elite wingers you just drafted for that franchise winger, meaning Brennan McKinnis over here, the sniper playing out of the Dell on the Schwenninger Wild Wings. Looks like he is Croatian, I believe. Can I see his flag a bit closer? I think that's Croatian. And the second is uh, Austrian, is he? Or Polish? Uh, so interesting top three then finish for the top three prospects another comment coming from Max Kids Brody he's telling me trade up to the first overall pick if I can if not I should try to tra try to land Shane Wright over here projected for fourth overall or Matt Savoie down here projected at seven two centermans uh, they both get to 88 to 92 overall range so he's telling me I should go for them would not be a bad idea so I'll look into trading up for sure for somewhere in the draft when when it comes time and then uh, Max Kids Brody leaving me another comment telling me that for the lines keep the lines as is with the top three on a plus three in the top two lines but try to get a plus one on the third line since we are rolling three lines that's true I didn't think about that we are rolling three lines on the ice time allocation there that's why Max Jones doesn't play too much so if I can get a plus three up here it would be optimal to get a plus sorry to get a plus one on the third line but to do that I think the only way is to bring Max Jones up and to move um, uh, Jesper Helmerson down because I don't believe I could actually bring Owen Tippett down but you know Jesper Helmerson in the regular season put up 30 points Owen Tippett he put up uh, 31 okay so not a big difference to be honest but a sniper with four star shooting versus a two way forward three and a half star shooting I don't know I think I'd rather do this to give it a plus one if it doesn't work out, then I'll change it, but I'm going to try this for the time being. Gives Max Jones an 80, Henrik an 85, and Tippett an 84. So these will be the lines rolling into the playoffs with the defense looking like this as well. Plus one, plus one, plus three. I could do how I had it uh, like this to give it a plus three on the top pair. I can even put Larson up with Fowler, I believe, but Fowler did not do very well. And you know what? I'm going to give it the chance, actually, because Fowler didn't do very well in the season, but putting these guys up here, making it a plus three, giving them 85, 87, 87, 82, that it might be worth it. So I don't like uh, putting Hampus Lindholm on the second pair because he's so good, but I think I'm going to just try it for the beginning of the playoffs here, and then I'm going to make it up to him by putting him on the first power play unit, just like that. Okay. Okay, so that'll be it. Rolling into the playoffs. So we're up against San Jose Sharks for the second straight season. Last year we lost in, I think it was five games to San Jose. Um, they are 5-5-10 five, five, and ten in the last 10. We're 6-3-1. and one. Pretty similar records. We had two more. They had two more wins than us, and we had two more overtime losses. Very similar to last season. We looked at their lines last episode. They have a good top six. Quickly go over it again. They have a good forward core. Their defense is abysmal, aside from Eric Carlson, but that pretty much just makes up for it. Top six is very good. Defense, of course, Eric Carlson. Brent Burns is down to an 81. And in Nets, it is Mark andre Fleury. So, boys, game number one of round number one, year number three, in San Jose. Let's get it going, boys. Possibly Ryan Getzlaff's last shot at a cup. Definitely David Backes' last shot as he's probably going to retire. So let's go. Period number one. one nothing lead thanks to Joel Edmondson, a pure monster. Second period, no scoring. We move into third, into the third period with that one goal lead thanks to Joel Edmondson. Power play that gets killed off by the Sharks halfway through the first period of game number one of this postseason, I should say. Five minutes left, four minutes, late power play for the Sharks that we kill off. Big kill. And just like that, a one nothing shutout. 37 saves from John Gibson, 25 from Marc-Andre Fleury, one goal, the game-winning goal from Joel Edmondson, 37 save shutout from John Gibson. He is back, and that is exactly what we needed to start off the playoffs. 
Now, as always, you may be thinking this episode is long, 40 minutes or 50 minutes or something like that. He, I must have made it past the first round, gone deep in the playoffs. No, that is just my secret. I always make my videos long in the playoffs so it doesn't give it away. So I could, this could be done in 15 minutes. Ryan Getzlaff with an early goal, and then he gets another one just three minutes later. So Ryan Getzlaff, two early goals in this one. Let's send through the first period. Ends two to nothing. Ryan Getzlaff, our captain, scoring both goals. Second period, no scoring. We are up two to nothing. Power play gets killed off by the Sharks. Power play for the Sharks now that we kill off. Very nice. Holding on to that two goal lead thanks to our captain. Another power play, power play for the Sharks. Once again, our penalty killer is getting it done. Five minutes left here in the, second, in the third and final period of game number two. A minute to go, and that's it. Back-to-back -back shutouts. I knew you were thinking it, but don't you dare say it. John Gibson, 35 save shutout. So between game one and game two, he now has 62 saves between games one and two. Gets left two goals, Raquel two assists. 60, is it right? Yeah, 35 and 37, quick math. So what am I saying? 70, my nudge, 72 saves, 35 plus 37. 72 saves across six shutout periods for John Gibson to give us an early 2-0 lead as we take both games from the San Jose Sharks. Season's over down in San Diego. We ended 43-16-9. Love to see it. Game number three now at home at the Honda Center. Here we go. First period early goal from Josh Mahura. Second period, 3-0 boys. Sonny Milano and Adam Henrique. Oh man, don't you dare say it. Don't you dare say it. You can think it, but you can't say it. 3-0 lead. Shots 29-19 to 19 for the Sharks. Power play gets killed off. Come on, Bellows. Hang tight. Hang tight. Don't tell me. Three minutes left. Do you believe in miracles? Oh my goodness. Nine straight shutout periods from John Gibson. I don't believe it. And these are big games. 34 saves. What is that? 106? Quick maths. 34, 35. Yeah, 106. 106 saves through nine straight shutout periods. A goal and assist for Sonny Milano. Two more assists from the captain, Ryan Getzlaff. Wow. So quick comment here. The NHL record for longest, for most consecutive shutout minutes is 332. Divide that by 60 minutes. That is five, uh, five and a half games. So going back over here, we shut out the, Gibson shut out the, the Canucks to end the season. So one, two, three, four consecutive shutout games. That gives us four times 60, which is 240 consecutive shutout minutes. So putting them both together and only giving up one, game, one goal against the Flames, if that was him and Nets, oh, he gave up two probably. Okay, forget that. So one, two, three, four gives us 240 minutes of consecutive shutout minutes from John Gibson. The record is held by Brian Boucher in the 0304 season. Uh, yeah. So the NHL record for most consecutive playoff shutouts, there's a few players that hold it. They're all tied with three. Clint Benedict from the 1925-26 Montreal Maroons, John Ross Roach on the 1928-29 New York Rangers, Frank McCool on the 1944-45 Toronto Maple Leafs, Brent Johnson on the 0102 Blues, Patrick Lalime on the 0102 Senators, J.S. Jaguar on the 0203 Anaheim Mighty Ducks, and Ilya Brizgalov on the 0506 Anaheim Mighty Ducks. So now, of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven goalies, now add John Gibson. Of the eight goalies in NHL history who have three consecutive shutouts in the playoffs, it is three out of the eight that are from the Anaheim Duck franchise. John Gibson, J.S. Shiger, and Ilya Brzgalov, all with three consecutive playoff shutouts. Take a bow. Wow, that is huge. You just love to see it. And boys, meanwhile, we're up three to nothing in the series. So let's sweep it at home here at the Honda Center. Let's just sweep the Sharks right out of town, out of California. First period. Okay. So Sonny Milano and Owen Tippett get goals, but Logan Couture and Evander Kane score. So 240 minutes plus, let's see, 7 minutes and 3 seconds. So 247 minutes and 3 seconds was John Gibson's shutout streak, if you include 
the uh, the game against the Vancouver Canucks. If you don't include that game, then it would be three games of 60 minutes. It would be 187 minutes and three seconds. Congratulations to John Gibson. This game is tied at two heading into the second period. And oh, a lot of scoring here. Ryan Geslav, Josh Mahura, Rickard Raquel on the, power, on the power play, and Jakob Silverberg now on Max Jones, who's in nets. Six goals on 18 shots here. Blischfeld scores on Gibson. We are up six to three heading into the third and final period of game number four, possibly the final period of round number one. Eric Carlson scores on John Gibson, but Jesper Helmerson scores his first career playoff goal. Also to note that Owen Pippett scored his first career playoff goal, and I think uh, Josh Mahura did as well. Seven to four, that's going to be all she wrote, boys. A seven to four victory in game number four to sweep the San Jose Sharks out of California. Goal and assist for Helmerson, goal and assist for Raquel, goal and two assists for Carlson. Congrats to him, but was not enough. Wow, we. So through four games, Ryan Getzlaff, our captain, leads our team in scoring with seven points in four games. Raquel has six and four. Milano got four. And then everyone else was chipping in, doing their fair share. Max Jones on that third line got two assists. Uh, Silverberg only scored one goal in four games, which is a bit scary with that much ice time. Um, Owen Pippett had a goal. Everyone pretty much had a point. Did everyone have a point? Except for Brendan Gooley. Okay, playing 20 minutes and 45 seconds a night. Okay, come to us. So the first line didn't really do much. It was, Once again, just like last year, it's that second line. The second line getting it done. Here they are, the boys right here. The bellows. Uh, in that, so let's look at those numbers. John Gibson, 4 0 0 with three shutouts, one goal against average, a 969 save percentage. You just love to see it. So we got a nice little break now as we take a few days off to kick back and smile and keep working hard, eating good meals like monsters. And in the second round, we are going up against the Edmonton Oilers. They are a good hockey team. They're 8 1 1 in their last 10 to end off the regular season. Um, how did they do against the, uh, was it against the Jets or the Flames, was it? The Oilers beat the Golden Knights, actually, in six games. Okay, so now it's Blues, Avalanche, Ducks, Oilers, Habs, Flyers, Sabres, Leafs in the NHL. We have not made, this, made it this far in the playoffs since year number one. Not much, it's not saying much since we're only in year number three here where we made it all the way to the third round. Edmonton Oilers, James Neal on the first line, 79 overall, but with McDavid and Yamamoto, okay. Second line, Connor Sheary, Leon Dreisaitl, and Nikita Gusev. Third line, Lafreniere, Nugent Hopkins, Pugliarvi. And then Zach Cassian, Miko Koivu, and Ryan Zingle. If I were the Oilers, I'd put Lafreniere on the first line. I would put Nugent Hopkins on the second line wing, probably. Make Miko Koivu my third line center. Or at least just don't put James Neal and Connor Sheary in my top six. I'd rather put Lafreniere and Pulio Yarvi. Well, these guys are interchangeable. Either way, the computer is not always very smart. What did James Neal even do in the season? He put up 55 points. It's good, but like, you know, Lafreniere could have done a lot. Instead, you buried him on the third line. On defense, Clefbaum, Nurse, Bear, Bouchard, Ouellette, and Matt Benning. A good top pair, solid, uh, solid enough top four here. All around okay, I'd say. Oscar Clefbaum has four points in six games. Uh, who do they have in Nets? It's Tuka Rask, I believe. Yes, 86 overall, 35-year-old Tuka Rask. Ba back him up, Miko Koskinen. Any injury scratches? Beaulieu. They have Beaulieu, Udon, and Ulette. They're uh, getting pretty French over in uh, Edmonton. The Frenchies must love. And Miko Koivu, brother of Saku Koivu. Zach Cassian, former... Uh, former Montreal Canadian, Alexis Lafreniere. So Alexis Lafreniere, Miko Koivu, brother of Saku Koivu, Zach Cassian, former Montreal Canadian, Evan Bouchard, Xavier Oulette, and Charles Udon and Nathan Beaulieu. All the Frenchies, they're loving the Oilers. They're wearing Oiler jerseys in the streets, going to the McKimmons Irish pub. They're going to the Casual Spa. They're going everywhere with Oilers jerseys, and they're buzzing their tests. But we are the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, but we are the Anaheim Ducks, and we will have to take them down. So let's get it done, boys, at Rogers Place in Edmonton for game number one of round number two. Let's keep it up. And let's keep smiling. First period, goal apiece from Evan Bouchard and Kiefer Sherwood. 1-1 game. Second period, three goals 
from oh sorry again once again the Oilers uh, orange always throws me off I look on the right where it's the G, letter G but Cam Fowler and Rickard Raquel score for us Raquel in the power play Yamamoto score for the Oilers and we are up three to two heading into the third period early power play for the Oilers that we kill off Cam Fowler with our second power play goal of the night gives us a two goal lead as we are halfway through the third period now it is going to be a good series here five minutes left in the third hanging on to that two goal lead looks like it's going to be enough and it will be as Cam Fowler adds the empty netter and Cam Fowler who I restored to the first pa uh, D pair scores a hat trick three goals and one assist Silverberg answers the call and scores three assists he doesn't want to get traded in the offseason and John Gibson puts together 25 saves on 27 shots to win us game number one in the playoffs as we are a perfect 5-0 to begin our run. It won't stay perfect forever, but it is nice to see. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into game number two. We got a couple days of rest and we're ready to hop in. First period, goal apiece. It's Rickard Raquel once again. Leon Dreisaitl scores a shorthanded goal from above the, the, the hash marks there. So, okay. 1-1 game heading into the second period. One goal for Jakob Silverberg on the power play. No angle shot on the, uh, near the, actually at the hash marks. Right on the boards right there. Interesting. We're out shooting them 26-10 to 10 heading into the third period. 2-1 game. Our defense is shutting them down. We are scoring goals, but Tuka Rask is still standing tall. Only a one goal lead halfway through the third period. Come on, boys. We can get another one here. I'd really like to get another one. Silverberg's been doing a lot this series. I want to see him do more, but we don't need to. All right, we hang on for that 2-1 win, and it is a 21 save performance from John Gibson, 34 saves from Tuka Rask, but it wasn't enough as we take game number two by a score of 2-1. to one. We are perfect on the road, and now we head back home to the Honda uh, Center for game number three of round number two. The Blues are leading the Avalanche 2-0 in their series as well. So let's get her done, here we go. Game three in Anaheim. First period, no scoring. Second period goal from Rickard Raquel. Getting it done, 25 saves thus far for the Oilers. They're really turning it on and Leon Dreisaitl scores on the power play, very early on the power play as well. We're off the face off perhaps, 16-13 he scored at. 16-13, 16-44, so pretty early on in the power play. 1-1 one, one tie shots, 33-17 to 17 for the Oilers, but it is a tie game with just a few minutes to go in the first period, the first, in the third period. Are we going to head to overtime? We will. Overtime of game number three. Overtime here in game number three in Anaheim, looking to take a 3-0 stranglehold on this series. Here comes Silverberg. Oh, nice little windmill there. Back to Gooley. Gooley hangs onto it, into the zone. Keeps into the corner. One-timer. Big save. Oh, and the rebound just on the side of the net. Here's another chance now at the point. Lindholm. Gooley. Lindholm. Tira bello. In the corner. Silverberg. Hangs on to it. Here's a chance. Pass it. Oh, off a skate. Silverberg. Dry style breaks it up. And Yamamoto brings it the other way. Puck. Pull you, Yarvi. In the corner. Keeps. Bouchard. Here's a big chance. Glove save from Gibson. He'll hang on for the faceoff. Ilya Kovalchuk up there, seven goals. James Neal, nice move, but he gets hit off the puck. Mahura to Max Jones now. Jones, Mahura, up to Henrique. Oh, pickpocketed from Bouchard. Back the other way. Oilers have a chance. Miko Koivu's in the corner. Zach Cassian, huge pad save from Gibson. And now here comes a two-on-two -two the other way for the Ducks. Tippett brings it into the corner. Brings it back to Lundstrom. Ah, oh, gotta shoot. The AI never wants to shoot the puck. Lundstrom in front. Rask will take it and cover up. McDavid gets destroyed into the boards, and here comes Lundstrom the other way. The fourth line. Isaac Lundstrom. Come on, Bello. Back to Larson. Larson in front. Oh, tipped onto, net, onto the net. But Tuka Rask gets a piece of it. Fourth line versus first line here. Lundstrom wins it. Jesper Helmerson hangs on. In front, Sherwood lets it go to Larson at the point. Fowler scores! Cam Fowler! What a wrist shot! Top shelf from the blue line. And the Anaheim Ducks go up 3-0 in round number two. They are 7-0 in the playoffs. Wow, the fourth line got it done against Connor McDavid in the first line. Lundstrom wins that faceoff, let it go to the point. Fowler wrist shot, glove side on Tuka Rask. 
What a shot from Cam Fowler, who has been redeemed this playoffs after not his best regular season. Ring, what a shot. Wild Wing loves it, waving that flag, and we have a 3 0 lead on the series. John Gibson getting it done with 39 saves on 40 shots. Game winning goal from Cam Fowler. Rickard Raquel had the other. We got outshot 40 to 22, but John Gibson stands on his head. And just like that, we are up 3 to nothing in this series, and we are looking to sweep the Oilers in game number four at home here at the Honda Center. So let's go here as we try to close out our second series in eight games. First period, early lead, thanks to Sam Steele. I think that's his first goal. To, yeah, that definitely is his first goal of the playoffs. Right on the doorstep, he got it. We're outshooting them 18 to five. Second period remains one to nothing. Outshooting them 25 to 12. Can we get another one power play for the Oilers? Five on three power play. We kill off both. The penalty killers have been monsters this series as well as John Gibson. Power play for us. Looking to just put it away, boys. Ice it with five minutes left in game four. Adam Henrique, that might just be enough. And it will be. Adam Henrique and Josh Mahara as an empty netter as we sweep the Edmonton Oilers. Thanks to John Gibson at 24 save shutout. Man, Sam Steele gets the game-winning goal. Another shutout from John Gibson. It's just unbelievable. Putting up numbers similar to our to 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 Vesa Blumdahl and to Gavin Osgood, legends in our other franchise modes. Let's just look at these points. Raquel has 10 and 8. Getzloff 9 and 8. Cam Fowler a plus 8 and 7 points with four goals in eight games. You just love to see it. Goalies, John Gibson, tell me. 8, 0 oh and 0. Oh. Four shutouts, 967 save percentage, 0 0.97 goals against average. The stuff of absolute legends. And we are up four, what am I, what am I saying we're up? The series is over. Four nothing victory. Habs and Sabres look like they're gonna win their series respectively. And the Blues and the Avalanche are tied at two. So whoever wins the series between the Blues and the Avalanche will meet us in the Western Conference Finals as we uh, find ourselves in the third round for the second time in three seasons. We had another little bit of rest and the Avalanche are the winners. We will take them on in round number three. It is the Canadians and the Sabres in their own respective rounds. As the Avalanche, what have they done so far? They beat the Jets in four, they beat the Blues in six, and now they take on the Ducks who are eight and oh. Let's check out their lines. So here on Colorado's lines, top six is pretty monstrous, but this first line is just something else. Nate McKinnon, Miko Rantanen, Gabriel Landeskog, like in real life, just monsters. Landeskog, only 56 points in the year. Let's look at McKinnon. He was, must have been a monster out there. 76, not even that crazy, but 16 points in 10 games for McKinnon. Rantanen only has six. Okay, I guess it's the classic. Uh, the higher you overall is, the more pits you are. Kadri has nine and 10. Uh, Tyson Jost is a good third line center with five assists. Shane Bowers down here. Teddy Bluger. Defense Makar Petrangelo is a wild first pair. Byram Gerard is a very good second pair as well. Two former Brooklyn Bellows. Bro uh, and Bowen Byram, a legend in Brooklyn. A pure monster as our captain as he brought us to, to Cups and retired with the team. Uh, but yeah, Petrangelo Makar is a crazy top pair. Nine points in 10 games for Alex Petrangelo at the age of 32. Goalies, it's Francouz, 81 overall. You would think that because he's 81, he's not good. Nope, 38, 24, and four. And in the playoffs, he is eight, one, and one with a 1.82 goals against average and 9.35 save percentage. Capo Kakinen backs him up. And they have pretty good defense depth as well. So those are the lines for Colorado. We are keeping the lines as they are for us and we are ready to hop in to game number one of round number three we got I think we lost in five in year number one in uh, round three but now boys we are just one series away four wins away from the Stanley Cup finals first time since 2007 second time in the conference finals in our last three years but we got to make it through very similar team they had one more win than us we had one more overtime loss we can do this boys we're eight to zero. Let's keep it up. Game one, round three, 
First period, 2-1 Ducks. Lindholm and Edmondson score. Kale McCarr gets one on Gibson. Second period, 5-2. Two, to two. Wow, so it was 2-2 two, two for a moment. But then we explode with three goals. Silverberg, Getzlaff, and Joel Edmondson with his second goal of the night. Lanniskog on Gibson. We lead 5-2. to two, A three-goal lead heading into the third period. You just love to see that. Three goal leads make you smile. Two goal leads, oh, steal, makes it six to two. Two goal leads are dangerous, but three goal leads make you smile. That smile can fade quickly, but not today as Sam Steele gets another. Shane Bauer scores one with 2.22 left, and we win game number one by a score of six to three. Two goals and an assist for the defensive defenseman, that is Joel Edmondson. Goal and assist for McCarr, goal and assist for Sam Steele, and we are nine and zero oh in the playoffs as we head into Pepsi Center for game number two here in the Western Conference Finals. Let's keep it up. Buffalo's up 1-0 over the Canadians in their series. First period, 3-1. Sheesh, our first time really going down. I don't think we've been down by two this whole series. Cam Fowler scores one, his fifth goal of the playoffs, but then Kamenev, Landeskog, and Timmins all get goals to put the Avalanche up 3-1, outshooting us 18-9. Second period, Henrique scores 40 seconds in to bring us within one. and But then the Avalanche get two more from the Chuskin and Bowers. That bottom six is scoring quite a bit. We're down by three heading into the third period. Like I said, there it's, it makes you smile, but that smile can fade quickly. And now it's fading. Isaac Lundstrom makes it five to three. We're within two. The worst lead to have. Cam Fowler with his sixth goal of the playoffs. It's five to four. Maxime Comtois, that smile faded away. Jakob Silverberg, six five, boys. Four goals in the third period. We are up six to five. Come on, boys. Ice it. And are we going to keep it? Yes, we will. Wow. A four goal third period. Two goals and an assist from Cam Fowler. A pure monster. Goal and assist from Maxime Comtois. Goal and assist for Lannis. But we were down five to two. And we win six to five to keep our unbeaten record. We are 10 and 0 in the playoffs. Can you believe it? Oh my, I'm gonna take a quick pause right here to just go over the scouting. So that's done with all the scouting last uh, month or so before the draft. Now we head into game three, back at the Honda Center. We're at home, we are 10 and 0 in the playoffs for game three against the Colorado Avalanche here in round number three, the Western Conference Finals, to take a commanding hold of this series. First period, three, nothing boys. Comtois, Silverberg, and Raquel, the boys are buzzing. Second period, it is five to one. McKinnon scores for the Avalanche, but Henrique and Gouli score in Fransuz. I think their goaltending has just been letting them down with an 81 overall in Nets. It was helping them out a lot, but this series, they just can't keep up with us. Burkowski scores 26 seconds into the third to bring them within three, but Sherwood restores that four goal lead. The fourth line getting it done. Key for Sherwood. San Diego all last season, but he comes up and gets it done this year for his first full 82 game season. Bauer scores on the power play to bring the Avalanche back within three, but now Burkowski scores bringing it within two, but only five minutes left in the third period. I don't think the Avalanche have it in them because this game is just too far gone. A 6-4 victory. Not Gibson's best night with four goals on 26 shots, but we still get it. As Lundstrom gets three assists, Comtois and Silverberg both have a goal and an assist each. And we are up 3-0 in the Western Conference Finals with an 11-0 record through the playoffs thus far. We have scored six goals in every one of our last three games. How many goals are we scoring on average over here? This is wild. Six, 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 three, two, two, five, seven, three, two. So first round was 50 and one. 50, 50, more low than high. Second round was pretty low. And then third round, we just blew up. Six, six, and six. What are we gonna get in this fourth game as we are still at home at the Honda Center? 13 points in 11 games for Rickard Raquel. The Canadians are up 2-1 in their series. So here we go, boys, to head into the Stanley Cup Finals with a sweep of the Western Conference Finals. First period, 1-1 game, Sonny Milano and Alex Petrangelo, his first of the series, I believe. Second period, two goals from the Avalanche, Tyson Jost and Jordan Martinuk. We are down by two, outshooting the Avalanche 31-20. to We've come back from bigger deficits than this. Down by two here in the third period. Power play for the Avalanche, we kill it off. Come on, boys. Let's get a couple. Let's get back in this game. Who's going to step up for me? Who's going to be a big bellow? I haven't seen much from Helm, uh, Jesper Helm, Helmerson. 
But this game's dwindling down. Francis is standing on his head. Helmerson, there he is. I called for him and he answered. Come on, Bello. Won't be enough, though. Helmerson answered, but we dropped game four. Uh, Francis made 41 saves. So we lost. We lose our first game of the playoffs after going 11 straight. So we are now 11 and 1 on the playoffs. Avalanche are 9 and 5. The NHL record is held by the 1992 Pittsburgh Penguins, who won 14 straight. So we came close with 11 straight. As now we move into game number five, up three to one in this series. Still looking good. The Canadians and Sabres are tied two to two in their series, so that's a pretty good series there. And now we look to close it, boys, in the Pepsi Center, game five of round three. First period, 1 1 game. Shane Bowers has been scoring a lot this series, and Ryan Getzlaff, he wakes up. He's been a little quiet the last few games, he's back. The captain wants to go to the cup finals. Second period, two goals from Comtois and Silverberg. Shane Bowers again on the power play. 3-2 lead. We are up by one. Early power play for the Avalanche 5-on-3. We kill it off. Great penalty kill there. Halfway through game five, holding on to a one-goal lead. Joel Edmondson, who's been a pure monster this playoffs, gives us a two-goal lead. Will that be enough? 5-2, Joel Edmondson. You are literally insane. That's it, boys. That is it. Let's see the final celebrations. We head to the Stanley Cup Finals. 22 seconds remaining here at the Pepsi Center as we are looking to head to the first time, their first berth in the Stanley Cup Finals. McKinnon, ooh, that was a nice chance there, but they lost it. Our first Stanley Cup Finals for the franchise since we won the Cup in 2007. And with five seconds left, we will be heading to our first Stanley Cup Finals in 15 years. As though, and of course they'll hang on again with one and a half seconds left. But a 5-2 victory. There's the man who's been doing so much this series, Cam Fowler. As we will head to the Stanley Cup Finals, the first time in this franchise mode. What a fight it has been to get here, boys. What a journey. And with a 12-1 and one record... The Anaheim Ducks are heading into the Stanley Cup Finals to face either the Montreal Canadiens or the Buffalo Sabres. Wow, oh wow. Avalanche, they scored a lot, but we just scored more. Ryan Getzlaff there, that bald, beautiful man, shaking hands with Landeskog. There's Gibson and Francis shaking hands, and Getzlaff comes to the Clarence Campbell Trophy. He will not touch it, understandable. His first time as captain that he receives this award. The Clarence S. Campbell Trophy. Let's see who we're going to face in the Stanley Cup Finals. So Rick Raquel gets three assists. Edmondson, two goals. Shane Bauer had two goals. Shane Bowers had two goals, but was not enough. He had a really good series for the Avalanche, playing fourth line minutes and power play. He was like a power play specialist. But Ryan Getzlaff is the only member of the 2006-2007 a team that is back for more here in the year 2022. In that season, he played 82 games, got 58 points, and in the playoffs, in 21 games, he had seven goals and 10 assists for 17 points as he was uh, as he raised the Stanley Cup. So Rickard Raquel, 17 points in 13 games, monster. Silverberg, 13 and 13. Steele, 12. Getzlaff, 11. Fowler, a plus 15 with 10 points. Comtois there, uh, Lundstrom 7, <laughs> Joel Edmondson, the defensive defenseman with three-star shooting, has five goals in 13 games. What did he do during the season? He had, actually this season, actually since he's been here, he's done a lot of goals. 6 and 82, 9 and 82, and 32 goals in his entire 500-plus game NHL career, but five goals in 13 games here. Larson, six assists, Mahura, five points, Helmerson, two and three. Uh, not a lot of points for Lindholm at all, but he's holding it down. Jones, five assists. Gooley, three points up on that first pair. Owen Tippett, only two points. I would change Tippett and uh, Lundstrom, was it? Or Tippett and uh, Helmerson, was it? Yeah, Owen and... But, you know, when we're winning this many games, I'm not going to touch anything. Goalies are Gibson. Of course, it's Gibson with 12, 1-0, and 0, four shutouts, 936 save percentage, and a 1.93 goals against average. I want to see the avalanche. How many points did Bowers have? He had 13 points in 15 games. Man, he's a medium top six. He was a first-round pick in 2017. 
So now we wait. The Buffalo Sabres are up 3-2 in their series against the Canadians. Will they close it out or will it be going to 7? They, I think they're going to 7. No, nope. one more day. We'll know right here. And it is the Buffalo Sabres here in the Stanley Cup Finals. 59-21-2 record in the regular season. Did they win the President's Trophy? They did not. They, oh, sorry, no. The Edmonton Oilers are there. So they did. Okay, yeah. Oh, man, they did. The President's Trophy winning Buffalo Sabres. First place in the NHL versus ninth place in the NHL. Buffalo versus Anaheim as we fight for the Stanley Cup. Buffalo, they, they've been waiting a long time for this, that's for sure. But they took down the Canadians in six games. How did they do on the rest of their journey to the Stanley Cup Finals here? In the first round, they won in... Oh, man, they barely got here. They beat the Hurricanes in seven, the Leafs in seven, and then the Canadians in six. So their total record is 12 and 8. Meanwhile, we are 12 and 1. So they've played seven more games than us. So that fatigue may come into play. Let's check out Buffalo's lines. Of course, Jack Eichel, the monster that he is, he'll be up there on the first line. Buffalo, I want to see how their rest of the lineup is, though. Eichel's on the first line with Jeff Skinner and Sam Reinhart. Eesh. Wow. 23 points in 20 games for Sam Reinhardt. Skinner has 6 and 5. Dominic Cahoon with Dylan Cousins and Victor Olafson. Third line, bottom six where it falls off a bit. Casey Middlestat, hmm, an 85 overall centerman, is playing fourth line right wing. 80 faceoffs, but instead they put Tage Thompson with 74 faceoffs and Zengis Gergensen's also with 79 faceoffs. Huh, that's interesting. Defense, Rasmus Dahlin and Rasmus Ristolainen are two monsters on the back end. Wow. Sheesh. John Klingberg with Colin Miller in the second pair. Klingberg, remember he got, that was a blockbuster deal during the season. Kevin Miller and, or Kevon Miller and uh, Jake McCabe. In nets, it is Antti Ranta with Uko Pekalukinen backing him up. Very nice stats from Antti Ranta. And uh, Guillaume Brisebois is scratched, so the Frenges may be cheering in the streets now that they can't cheer for Edmonton anymore. Maybe they're going to cheer for them. And boys, this is going to be a big series. We fought so hard. We're a, the, they doubted us, bro. We're a hopeful. They doubted us. We fought so hard for this. David Baquez, he's in the press box. He's been waiting. Nick Delorier, he's in the press box. They've been waiting for this. 31, 38 David Backes is. Ryan Getzlaff, 80 overall, 37 years old. He's been waiting. It's one last ride for the captain. Adam Henrique is 32. He wants his first cup. Everyone on this roster wants their first Stanley Cup. On defense, let me see, yes. Unless Joel Edmondson, I guess on St. Louis, I guess would be the only one with a cup. But everyone else, Gibson, even Maratsik, Everyone is here fighting for a Stanley Cup ring. Let's get it, boys. We will not go quietly. Let's go into the Key, back, key Bank Center in Buffalo, and let's take what's ours. Game one, Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go. First period, 1-1 one, one game. It's Jeff Skinner on the power play and Rickard Raquel tying it up at one. Second period, early power play, nothing. Second period, yes, Maxime Comtois puts us up two to one. We have a one goal lead heading into the third. Shots are pretty even. Power play early for us, killed off. And then for Buffalo, but they, ugh, Ryan Hartman gets a power play goal. And Maratic, oh no. Why is Maratic in nets? Don't tell me. Power play for us. Let's just get through this game, boys. Let's just get through this game with a W and we'll think about it later. Minute left, and we're headed to overtime here in Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals. In Buffalo for Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals here in 2022. Let's get it on. Now the Ducks come the other way. Steel circles back. Let's get it out, boys. Here we go. And the AI lets go off the boards. Very nice. Sloppy place to begin the period. Let's come on, boys. Darlene just gets by everyone. Oh! What a sloppy play. Darlene skates by everyone, puts it in front, zero coverage. That was disgusting. That was some of the worst AI I've seen in NHL to date. That was just shameful. So we dropped game one, three to two in overtime. That's okay, boys. Let's get it back in game two. That was a shameful game. Let's just put it behind us. 
Gibson's back in nets. Maracic was in. It was a it was a weird uh, it was a weird blip on the radar. Let's get back into it, boys. Come on, there we go. Ryan Getzlaff, the captain, is the one who gets it going. That's what I like to see. One nothing lead. Second period. Okay, two two. Getzlaff scores again. Eichel on the power play, and then Skinner scores a, la a minute later. So Ryan Getzlaff has both of our goals. We're being outshot 29 to 13, and is a two two tie heading into the third period. Both goals from our captain. Good kill there. Sam Steele puts us up 3-2. to two. Power play right after. Gets killed off by Buffalo. We're up 3-2. to two, Halfway through the third period of game two. Sam Steele, our first line center of the future and of the present as well. Puts us through. And then Cam Fowler adds the empty netter. And we take game number two by a score of 4-2. to two. Thank you very much. Gibson makes 37 saves. Raquel gets three assists like a monster. Two goals and an assist from the captain. Heading into game number three. Back at home at the Honda Center. They haven't seen Stanley Cup final here since in the last 15 years. So let's give them a show, boys. 21 points in 15 games for Rickard Raquel. What a pure monster. Game number three in the Stanley Cup finals. 1-1 one, one, uh, series. It's now a best of five. First period, two goals from the Sabres. Sam Reinhart and Victor Olofsson. Second period, one goal. Ryan Getzlaff, the captain with just passion in his blood brings this game within one down by one heading into the third period and Zemgus Gergensen the fourth line center makes it three to one and we're down by two come on boys someone get back in here Helmerson where are you Bello Raquel I want some more magic getting late Sunny Milano okay within one Three minutes left. Come on, boys. Uh, Jeff Skinner adds an empty nutter. We drop game three by a score of four to two. Milano has a goal and an assist, and so does Ryan Getzlaff. But anti Ranta standing on his head. 22 points in 16 games for Rickard Raquel. Game four in Anaheim. Let's tie this series up, boys. We need to tie this series up. We cannot go down three to one. Uh, I feel like ooh, early five on three, but we kill it. Off. Okay, that was a long power play. We're getting outshot 12 to 0 to start the game. Let's just sim the period. Okay. Outshot 22 to 3 to start this first period of where we need passion. Wake up, boys. Come on. We can't drop this game. This is it. Second period. Let's watch it. I'm watching. I'm not going to leave. I'm here with you, boys. Three shots. What the? Come on. Are they going to hit 30 before we hit 10? Middle stat, that pig on the fourth line. Halfway through this game, we're outshot 33 to 8, but Josh Mahura, okay, ties this game up. Getting outshot unbelievably, but we are hanging on to a tie game. And that'll bring it to the end of the second period. Heading to the third, we're being outshot 39, 39 to 9. So basically quadrupling our shots. Okay, 1-1 one, one game heading into the third period in game four of the Stanley Cup Finals. Who is going to give us the lead? I want to see someone. Oh, my Nadia Miseria, Victor Olofsson. Then a power... Oh, phew, Sam Reinhardt on the power play. What are you doing? Getting penalties, being down 2-1. to one. Who was it? Lindholm, hooking minor. What are you doing? Look at the shots. I don't believe it. Look at the shots. What a shame. What a shame. Gibson, 44 saves, and you hang him out to dry like that. What a shame. Boys, I want to know something. Who has passion and quote on this team? Who has passion and quote? That's all I want to know. Tell me right now. Who has passion and quote? Raquel has to stay there or else it doesn't work. Need the plus threes. Uh, who can I bring up? Jesper Helmerson? No, it doesn't work. Where's Henrik been in this playoffs? Four goals, three assists. Come on, Bell. If I switch him with Sunny Milano. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I know we're rolling three lines. I'm going to put Getzlaff. Milano's a monster, though. 14 points. It's not, it's not worth it. Do I keep... The, you know what? Okay, Helmerson's going to come up. Jones is going to move down. Putting Tippett, no. Sherwood has two goals and five assists. Tippett has one goal and one assist? Okay. Sherwood's going to come up so that at least there's a plus one on the fourth line and then Sherwood can be here. 
Helmerson's going to play with Henrik. Okay, this is going to be it. This is the lines that we're going to have playing for our lives. Edmondson, you're a monster. I guess I won't change you. <sighs> Gooley and Lindholm just not doing it. I, I don't want to lose that plus three, though. I need Fowler to stay on the top pair as well. I could bring Gooley up and then bring Edmondson up with him here. Okay, I think this is what we're going to do. Plus three, one, three. Fowler and Gooley, Lindholm and Edmondson, Larson and Mahura. Gibson's between the pipes. We're going to trust him. I almost put David Backes in the lineup. Should I? Over Tippett, maybe? If I put Backes up on the third line, it gives it a plus one. I can keep Sherwood here, and then I get to give the third line a plus one while, yeah, while rolling three lines. Okay, let's do it. Helmerson's an 84, Henrik's an 85, and David Backes. Do you want the cup, David? <sighs> Game number five, down 3-1 in the series for the Stanley Cup. At the Key Bank Center in Buffalo, who will show me passion and quote first period, no skipping, first period. Jakob Silverberg on the power play, that's what I like to see. I'm pretty sure David Backes is also on the power play. Oh, manage miseria, because since I swapped him out with Tippett. We swap power play goals, Jeff Skinner scores as well. Silverberg and Hartman, we swap power play goals. Somehow Hartman is scoring all kinds in this series. Skinner scores as well up on the first line. We're down two to one. Okay, second period being outshot 18 to six, tripling the shots. Helmerson on that third line. Okay, Adam Henrique on that. Okay, but power play, okay. Okay, and Victor Olofsson ties this game up. All right, Helmerson and Henrique and Dominic Cahoon on the power play. Where is the penalty kill? Where is the penalty kill? Don't tell me. Okay, five minutes left in the second period. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, power play. Okay, Jakob Silverberg, not power play, but okay, big goal. Okay, we are down five to four. We let in uh, th the three goals apiece on that second period. We're being outshot 32 to 18. 32 to 18. Whew. We need to get back in this game and win this next 20 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Cam Fowler ties the game up at five. That is what I like. He has been a monster, a bit quiet. Okay, Joel Edmondson up on that second pair. That's what I like to see. Okay, eight minutes left, boys. Don't you dare give in. I want more. I'm greedy, give me more. Don't you dare give in. Gilbert behind the bench, you better do something. Give me more. Okay, come to empty netter. That's what I like to see, boys. 7-5 victory. We're back in this series. Helmerson, goal and two assists. Henry, goal and two assists. Edmondson, goal and an assist. All the line changes that I made seem to work out for that game. Okay, 7-5 victory. We now move into game number six. We're back at the Honda Center. Game six. If you want the cup, you need to push this to seven. I need to see... Passion and Quote. David Backes, what did you do, Bello? You gave me a plus two. You're an absolute monster. I love it. David Backes, eat it up. Now, but on the power play, yeah, David, I'm sorry. You're going to have to take you off the power play. Sonny Milano, not currently on the power play. If I put, yeah, I'm going to put Sam Steele up on the first pair and come to at the point, maybe. He's five and six. He is three and 14. Now I'm gonna put Comtois here. So that gives a plus ones all around. Helmerson's here, Fowler's there. I'm gonna switch Fowler. No, you know, I gotta distribute the wealth. <sighs> okay, we're gonna keep it like that. Okay, boys. Sam Steele's out there. Sorry, David. You're a monster though. Game six of the Stanley Cup Finals. Last game of the season at home, boys. Do not leave on a losing note for these fans who have given us nothing but passion. First period, let's go. Penalty kill, good, kill it off. First period. Okay, Maxim come to on the power play. That's what I like. Zemgus Gergensen on the shorthanded though. Oh my goodness. Okay, come to on the power play. Another line change that I made that seemed to pay off. And then Adam Henrique on that third line. David, I love it. Okay, come on, David. Back is he wants the cup so badly. Joel Edmondson, yes. Okay, we're up three one. Second period, Edmondson. I'm gonna give you the biggest contract of your life next off season. This guy's playing for cash and and uh, and a ring. Two goal lead. Halfway through this game, 
We fought so hard, boys. Okay, Sunny Milano. Yes, what a bellow. 4-1. Come on, boys. Don't you dare give in. Don't you dare give in. Ah, oh, Rasmus Dahlin brings the Sabres within two. We're finally getting shots this game. Okay. We need to win this 20 minutes and push to seven, boys. We're out shooting them 28 to 25. It's very tight. We're up by two. Don't you dare give in for a second. Gets laughing back as they're counting on you. We played so hard all year. We played so hard all playoffs. Come on. 10 minutes left. We're up by two. Power play. Long power play. Oh, yes, Sam Steele, you monster. Sam Steele, that's exactly what I did. The line change pays off once again. And we are headed to game seven. We were down 3-1 in the series. We come back. We fight like monsters. Oh, I missed the three stars. We fight like monsters. We fight like monsters. Game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. We are here. We have fought so hard. David Backes, what are you doing, Bello? Plus three, you're a plus three. I'm gonna, bro, forget, forget the cup, bro. I'm sending you, I'm giving you millions. Don't retire, I'm gonna give you a $10 million contract. Joel Edmondson, bro, tell me what have you done? Seven goals, seven goals. <laughs> I 19 games. What a monster. Gibson, great numbers. Boys. I wish I could bring Delory in here. It's okay, he's gonna wear a suit to this game. We fought so hard for this. It is game seven of the 2022 Stanley Cup Finals between the Anaheim Ducks and the Buffalo Sabres. Boys, we fought so hard. We're here. Show me what you have left in your tank. First period, early power play, nothing from that. Early power play for the Sabres, we kill it off. I haven't touched the penalty kill. I'm letting the boys do their thing. Early goal for Victor Olofsson. Well, not too early. A bit late in the first period. Early in this game, though. Okay. And Jesper Helmerson. Okay. Okay. We head into the second period with a tie game. Thank you, Jesper. You absolute monster. Up on that third line with that plus from David Backes. Ever since Backes came on the third line. Oh, I love it, man. Okay. Second period. 1-1 one -one game. Pretty tied in the shots. Here we go. 40 minutes left to fight for the cup. Early power play, killed off by the Sabres. Then once again, the same as the first period, swapping power plays. Neither come to anything. Halfway through this game, we are tied at one. Maxime Comtois. Okay, but then Rasmus Dahlin comes right back. We are at a deadlock in shots and in score. Two to two. It doesn't get tighter than this. Shots are tied 22 to 22. It is a 2-2 game. Maxime Comtois and Jesper Helmerson have scored for us, our first and third line left wingers. Rasmus Dahlin and Victor Olofsson have scored for the Buffalo Sabres. It's the final 20 minutes. Whoever wins this 20 minutes wins the Stanley Cup. Boys, we have fought so hard. Backes, Getzlaff, Edmondson, Fowler, everyone. Raquel, Gibson, let's get it done. Third period. Let's slow it down to times four. Power play early in the third. Doesn't come to anything. All right. Hanging on. We're starting to distance a little bit in the shots. Not staying even. Power play for the Sabres. We kill it off. Okay. Halfway through the third now. Yes. Rickard Raquel puts us up three to two. That is the person to put us up. Rickard Raquel, very, very fitting that he puts us up. Five minutes left in the third period. Four minutes left. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. Late power play, okay, late power play. We are heading into this game with a late power play. We are up by one and we are on the power play. Can we finish this off and take the Stanley Cup here in game seven in Buffalo? Come on, boys. We can do this for Captain Getzlaff, bro. He wants to come get it. He's been waiting so long. He's been waiting 15 years for that next chance. 132 left in the third period on the power play. I don't know why the faceoff is in our zone. I guess the power play has been more than, yeah, okay. Pad save from Gibson. I don't know why you're letting a guy walk in shorthanded and taking a shot like that. But let's put it behind us. There's the cup, boys. They're taking it out. He's wearing black gloves and not white gloves. I don't know if that's allowed. 
Ray Ferraro's jealous, the poor guy. Middlestad and Ellie are out versus Raquel, Gatzlaff, Comtois, Steele, and uh, Lindholm. Ristolainen. Literally no words. Ever since I came into the game, dominating in our zone, shorthanded. I should have just kept simming and came in later. But I was a minute and a half left. I, how much longer am I going to wait until? Until there's two seconds left on the clock and wait and hope that the simulation gives me that? <sighs> Bro, don't let that guy walk in. Yeah, there you go. Destroy him. Get slash. Come on, Bello. Come to a guess laugh. Is he gonna be? Ah, what are you doing? Put it in his skates. <sighs> We're still on the power play. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh, my, <laughs> I almost lost my head. I almost lost my head. Come to a Raquel. Come to a my goodness. Okay, let's set it up. Let's set it up. No, what are you doing? It's the power play. It's only been uh, it's been all all sabers. Okay, steal. Come on. <laughs> you kill me, Steel. Get in the box, you piece of garbage. Get in the box. Oh, you kill me. Four on four. 31.3 seconds left in the third period. Bro, don't you dare let him just rip a shot from the point. Skinner. Okay, Helmerson breaks it up. Yes for Helmerson. The other way. Nice move. In front. Oh, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Rickard Raquel! Wow! Rickard Raquel! He puts us in front again! On the 4 on 4, it's the second of the night! And the Ducks take the lead! I don't believe it! The Anaheim Ducks are once again in the lead! Raquel scores the goal to put us up 3 2, and once again, with I don't know how many seconds left, Rickard Raquel! The catalyst of the success of the Anaheim Ducks the last two years. 17 and a half seconds left. We are up by one. Ice it, boys. Do not let them come back in. Lindholm's hanging on to it. Good. Kill the clock. Lindholm to Raquel. Get another, bro. Why not? Ranta makes that save. Middle stat to Skinner. Five seconds left. Is this it? Do you believe it? He breaks his stick! It's over! The Anaheim Ducks are Stanley Cup champions! 2022 Stanley Cup champions! What a playoff run and they have done it! They came back down 3-1 in the series to win it 4-3 with a final goal. Rick and Raquel, two goals in the third period. Gilbert Hull behind the bench. David Backes wins his Stanley Cup. Ryan Getzlaff gets one more as captain. I don't believe it! What a wild playoff run for the Anaheim Ducks. John Gibson, a monster. He has to win the Conn Smythe. The boys are buzzing in Anaheim. Oh my goodness. Second cup in Stanley Cup history. First in 15 years. Wow. Here's the handshake line. So many hard-fought battles. Klingberg, Cahoon. Very good team in Buffalo. The President's Trophy winners. Looks like that penalty at the end by Steele was a godsend. Cahoon. There's Kiefer Sherwood. He was loving it this season. Back as the catalyst in the, the on the third line of the last three games there. Con Smythe. Oh, wow. It goes to Rickard Raquel. Very, very good choice. 17 points with the game-winning Stanley Cup winning goal. Con Smythe goes to Rickard Raquel. Congratulations, Bello. Well done. Gibson was a monster. But for the entire playoffs and this series, it goes to Raquel. And now Stanley Cup, Gary Bettman's up there. Ryan Geslaff, you've been fighting so hard. What a career. And I just want to say this for the first time ever. You've been waiting so long. Ryan Geslaff, come get the Stanley Cup. Fans are all sitting down. They couldn't care less. And here he comes. Ryan Geslaff with that beard. The captain of Anaheim. Bettman looking good. Takes a nice pick. And he raises the cup! Ryan Getzlaff! 
raises the cup, 80 overall, 37 years old, led the team in regular season scoring. Who gives to give it to? He gives it to Gooley, I think. Is that number two, number two's Gooley? Yeah, Brendan Gooley. He raises it first. Where's Baquez? I want to see Baquez. Hope he takes a little run with it. Wow. Who gets it now? Number 34? Number 64, that's Sherwood. So number 22 wasn't Sherwood. Number 64 is Sherwood. Kiefer Sherwood, he gets it next. Come on. Are they sending him out for more? All right, they send him out for more. Kiefer Sherwood. Congrats, Bello. Fourth line. An 81 overall and a 79 overall. The people that get to hold the cup. Not David Backes, not uh, Sam Steele, Rickard Raquel. No. I want to see an extended 10-minute cut of Sherwood holding it in front of the whole stadium. Okay, here's John Gibson, his first career Stanley Cup. What an absolute monster. John Gibson raises the cup. Very well deserved. Get in for a pick, boys. There's Cam Fowler. What a monster. Gibson gets laugh. Take a pick, take a screenshot. It'll last forever. Yes, for Helmerson, what a game. An assist on the game-winning goal. Rickard Raquel, the game tying. The game put us in the lead and then put us in the lead again with two goals. 34 saves on 37 shots from John Gibson. Let's take a look at this Stanley Cup winning roster. Rickard Raquel, 27 points in 20 games. What a postseason. Ryan Getzlaff, at the age of 37, puts up 22 points in 20 games. Sam Steele in his first cup run, 20 points in 20 games on the first line. Jakob Silverberg, 17. Sonny Milano, surprisingly, 17 and 20. Cam Fowler, what a monster. Eight goals, tied for team scoring lead. Eight goals and eight assists in 16 games, plus 17. The assistant captain, he's been here since 2010, and he raises the cup in his 12th or uh, in his 11th season. Max Comtois, 13. Adam Henrique, 12. Jesper Helmerson in his rookie season puts up 11 and 20 and raises the cup. Joel Edmondson, 7 goals. What a free agent signing. I'm so happy we got him. What a great fit he's been. Kiefer Sherwood, 7 and 20. Hampus Lindholm, 7 and 20. Isaac Lundstrom, 7 and 20. Jakob Larson, 7 and 20. Josh Mahara, 4 goals and 2 assists and 6 points in 20 games. Max Jones put up 5 assists in like the first 2 series and then nothing since then. But hey, might trade him, but he has a cup, so we did it, boys. He got drafted in 2016, and here he is eight years later. Gooley puts up four points. Tippett puts up two in 16 before he gets scratched. And here he is, David Backes, Stanley Cup champion at the age of 38. <laughs> One assist in three games, a plus four. AHL top six potential. He's 76 overall. He is just... He just, he's just, he can't believe it, probably. David Back has no Stanley Cup in his in his uh, career, right? No, he has never won a Stanley Cup. We give him one last shot, and he takes it and goes out on top. No shots even taken. He was just a pure presence, a monster in the Stanley Cup Finals. How do we do in San Diego? We got eliminated after 10 games. Moran got 7 points. Mats Lindstrom got 6. Uh, that's cool. Also, of course, have to look at the goalies. Uh, Dossel didn't do too great there. But let's see John Gibson. 16-3-1 with four shutouts, a 9.28 save percentage, and a 2.43 goals against average. Crazy, crazy record. Mrazic came in for 16 shots and he had 15 saves, so good job on him. He still has a year left on his deal. He's been doing very well. Wow. So let's just let's see the awards. Let's see the draft order. And let's finish off this up. National Predators fire their head coach, Abel Mink. That's a cool name. Anaheim Ducks, Stanley Cup champions. Chicago Wolves are the Calder Cup champions. Salary cap is up to $93 million. Very nice to see inflation continuing. Ooh, quite the draft order here. LA jumps from 12 to 3. Detroit jumps from 3 to 1. The Wild drop to 2. The Capitals drop from 2 to 4. And that's about it there. Okay, Vancouver picks at 5 and 7, which is nice for them. I'm going to see if I can trade up with uh, with Detroit or someone to see if I can get that first overall pick. Scouts are pretty much done. Retired players, are they calling it a career on the Anaheim Ducks? Anyone we're thinking about Backes, we're thinking about Getzlaff. I think that's pretty much it. And just David Backes with a Stanley Cup at 73 overall 
and a Stanley Cup ring around his finger. 596 points in 1,066 games. David Backes calls it a career. Take a bow, Bello. Uh, Joe Thornton retires with 1,603 points in 1,807 games, age of 42. Spezza, Backes, Nielsen, Dubinsky after not being able to win with Buffalo. Sorry, Bello. Cogliano. That's about it. Justin Abdelkader finally retires. Oh, actually, just that contract is over, but his career wasn't that long. Only age of 35. Steve Bernier. Okay, goalies. Who retires here? It is Craig Anderson at the age of 41. He got 300 wins on the nose. Uh, Corey Schneider, Jonas Gustafsson, and Victor Faust. Four legends. So we're, we're here now, eh? We're at the draft. We're just about there. Uh, Joe Thornton is now a coach. That would be cool if I could hire him to be a coach. That would be nice. Nick Holden and Craig Anderson are both scouts. I wish I could hire um, well, David Backes. No coaches retiring on either of our teams, I don't believe. San Diego, no, I don't see anything. Okay. Uh, I don't care about draft interviews. Uh, pro scout, I will edit the trade block heading into the... Uh, the um, the draft that is so Setzinger up to an 80. I if there's anyone that I'm gonna trade, it's probably oof. I gotta trade one of those wingers if I want to move up. Do I trade Mats Lindstrom, who's 19 overall, medium elite, 79 uh, fifth overall pick? It would probably be Setzinger. He was a third round pick, but man, he's 80 overall. He's medium elite, already a fourth line forward. Do I want to trade Maximilian Setzinger? I kind of have to. Brent Clark already up to a 71, by the way. Uh, sheesh, I don't know who I'm going to trade. Quentin Byfield's going to be the NHL next year. Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll put Setzinger and Lindstrom both on the block. We'll see what happens there. Along with, sheesh, maybe now is the time that I put Jakob Silverberg on the block. Now that he has a Stanley Cup ring. Maybe Antoine Morand, I saw up to an 80 overall. So I'm going to we're gonna have to start looking at who becomes expendable. Now that we have a bunch of good NHL quality players... Who do I look to trade? Actually, I'm going to go put uh, Benoit Olivier Grew on the block. I definitely want to trade him. I mean, I could, if I could swing trading two prospects, maybe like Grew and Silverberg in a first instead of trading... Um, what's his name? Any, any of these two? I'll just take Lindstrom off for now, and I'll put Benoit Olivier, Olivier Grew just to put him on the block. Okay, that'll be the block heading into the... Uh, the draft, yeah. Okay, so here we are at the NHL draft. Let's check out the awards, check out the progress reports, and then we're going to call it on this one. So Stanley Cup goes to the Anaheim Ducks. you just love to see that. President Trophy Sabres, Campbell, Prince of Wales. There we go. Individual awards. Art Ross, Stamkos, Hart Stamkos. Norris goes to Carlson. Makes sense. Lady Bing to Patrick Kane. Calder to Jeremy Bracco. Uh, Con Smythe to Rickard, Raquel. Oh, last five years have all been forwards. Vezina to Antti Ranta. Uh, he deserved it, yeah. John Gibson wins the Jennings. That's nice. But yeah, those numbers, you better believe it. Uh, Jack, I don't know how he didn't win the Vezina then. But uh, Masterton goes to Subban. Jack Adams goes to the coach of the Devils. Selkie goes to Barkov. Lindsey Stamkos and Morris Richard to John Tavares. Uh, oh, yeah, some, score, some awards here. Willie Marshalls. The most goals during the season goes to Mats Lindstrom. Okay, nice job, Bello. The most outstanding rookie is Prick Real. That's nice to see as well. And uh, yeah, that's it for awards individual. Nice. Good job, Bellies. And for the progress supports, one of my favorite parts of the season. Love to see how everyone's looking here. Ryan Getzlaff is uh, at an 84 overall. I guess his morale is high after winning a cup. But I doubt he's going to come back next season. I don't know if I can afford to re-sign him. Setzinger rises 24 modification points up to an 80 overall now. He uh, He's uh, he's looking good. Helmerson went up to an 83. He'll probably jump a lot more over the offseason as well. Sherwood's up to an 80. Antoine Morand is up to an 80. That's cool. Comtois, 83. Larson Lundstrom down to an 80. Okay. I think that's about it. Owen Tippett was not very impressive. Sonny Milano down to an 82 for some reason. Yoel Armia back up to an 80. That's cool. Now we want to see in the system who's looking good. Brand Clark up to a 71 overall, like we said earlier. With that medium lead potential, he's looking very nice. Braden Tracy with top six potential. He is a 73 overall now. That's very cool. A big season for him as well. 
He had 90 points in 67 games in WHL, 98 the year before. Okay. Xander Hoyle's up to a 67 low elite potential. Zach Terry is a 63. Cameron McKinley with that medium lead potential is up to a 67. Okay. Robbie Yarventi, 65. Yasu Dramelson, 60. Uh, Hunter Drew, who just got signed to a contract in real life today, I saw. He has 70 potential, he's 74 overall. Uh, Matthew Hill has 70. Mats Lindstrom up to a 79. Dostal up to a 78. Max Jones is probably someone I'm going to look to trade as well. Axel Anderson, 75. Quinton Byfield, he, what kind of years did he have? Just from going downhill in the in the OHL. I don't get it. 87 over, 87 points for him, though. 79 overall. He better jump over the offseason. So I'm not looking to play him in San Diego after all the time I've put into him. Uh, Carter Rowney going down. He's getting a bit old. So that was, those are some questions. So I think on the trade block, I'm going to go... You know what? I, I'm going to have to keep a mental trade block. There's just more than three spots. I'm thinking about Lindstrom, Stetzinger, um, Silverberg, Jones, Benoit Viegru. Those are the five people that I'm thinking of slash most likely probably will trade. Five names right there. So who do you want to see traded? Who would you like to see in a package if I do want to trade up? Um, what do you want to see over the offseason? What should I sign? What should I look to sign in free agency? Who should I look to move? What would you like to see? Should Ryan Getzlaff be re-signed? I'm definitely going to look to trade up and, uh, and draft as high as possible. Um, possibly Matthew Savoie if I can't get right or McInnes. I'll see what the teams say about, um, about possible trades. There's some de- there are definitely some good other options as well. Uh, where I'd be drafting right now doesn't look like anything too special. And for goalies, I'd like to draft a goalie, but I don't think anyone's too crazy, except for Trenton McPherson. He has medium elite potential, maybe. And then this guy also has me- me- possibly medium elite potential. Uh, what's his name? Matthias Kaspar. This guy is backup, starter, backup, guaranteed. Ali Owen. So we're going to have to see. What would you like to see is the question, and I will try my best to make it happen. The sad thing is we don't know who the pending free agents are because this is not, not going to be totally accurate, but there would be some nice names here if some of these wingers were to come on the block. And then the last, last thing to do is to look at contracts. Who are we going to look to re-sign? Who are we going to let, look to let go? So let me know your thoughts on that. All expiring. Hampus Lindholm, we want to re-sign, but he doesn't want the extension. So that could be a problem. Rickard Raquel, we definitely want to re-sign, but he wants big money. Sheesh. Rickard Raquel wants money after that cup. Ryan Getzlaff, do we look? Do we sign him? He wants a lot of money, and he's just going to go down with that top nine potential, so I don't think so. Edmondson, I definitely want to re-sign. Yoel Armia, pr- um, probably not. Isaac Lundstrom, definitely, but he's not that great. Uh, Sherwood, I probably. Bergman, no. Mir- Mueller, no. How do you do, Mirko? Seven goals, 17 assists. Person, I would like to. Jakob Person does want a two-way deal, so that's nice. Well, as of now, after the draft, things usually change. Brant Clark, I'll probably give a contract to. Uh, hopefully, he can play in San Diego. I never know when they can play in San Diego or not. It's always, uh, I sign them, then they're playing in juniors. Then there's these prospects as well. I'll probably sign Vero, high top 6D potential. Uh, maybe this medium top 6 guy as well, but for these three, I'll probably let them go. To be honest, not totally sure. And then for goalies, uh, Stolarz is still signed, but I'll pro- Stolarz I'll probably let him go. I'll sign McKinley to be my new backup to Dostal, who will be continue to be the starter. And then uh, the goalies in the NHL are still both locked up. So that is it. Let me know your thoughts, boys, heading into the draft and into the off season. Who do you want to see moved? Who do you want to see uh, resigned? And all that good stuff, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, so thank you for watching. What a run. What a wild episode this was. We are Stanley Cup champions. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.